Hello tipsters and tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. Today's video is going to be another haul. I found more things to bring home from Australia, so of course I want to share them with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. What have you got? So if you are new to my channel, my name is B. I'm a vintage glamour enthusiast and musician. I make vintage beauty and style videos with a little bit of sustainability, veganism and lifestyle thrown in for good measure. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know my videos come out. So if you saw my last video, you would have seen that I had some family heirloom pieces waiting for me when I came back to Australia and I found some more. So this is not from the same grandma. This is from my other grandma. This is my stepmom's mum who passed away just after my last visit in 2020. So obviously these pieces mean a lot to me as do the ones from my mum's mum. Uh, yeah, I wanted to share those with you and a piece that was waiting for me when I got back that I ordered online. But first, let's take a moment for today's lovely sponsor. A big thank you to today's video sponsor who are Wicked Darling Handbags. They are a Melbourne based company run by the beautiful Jasmine. The concept behind these bags is really, really cool. Jasmine started the business because she was looking for a flamingo wicker bag and couldn't find them anywhere. So she decided to create the company herself. Every bag that you purchase from them is limited edition and comes from the creative mind of Jasmine. And then they are made using traditional weaving techniques by two Filipino families who employ Filipino artisans. So even if you're getting the same design as someone else, that bag has unique characteristics to it. If like me, you are vegan, they have bags that have no leather products in them and are all vegan, like our lovely bunny rabbit here. And as you can see, they have so much personality and are just absolutely beautiful. You won't own anything else like this. And I think that's what's really special about them. They are a little artwork and a talking piece, you know, this is the feature of your outfit. And I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think there is a bag on their site that will suit every personality and there's some real unique Australian ones like the magpie one here I just think that is really stunning and so unusual and I had a giggle because a really classic Australian experience is to get swooped by a magpie in springtime because they're protecting their nest I have linked the Wicked Darling website down below you can read more about this wonderful company and check out their bags the bags are pre-ordered and limited edition so make sure if you like the look of something that you pop a pre-order on it make sure you don't miss out and they do ship internationally so these are accessible to everybody. Thank you to Wicked Darling for sponsoring today's video. The first thing that I found whilst going through my stuff was all of these vintage Vogue patterns. These are obviously my grandmother's. She as I say was a wonderful seamstress so this is my mum's mum. I found all these packets of Vogue sewing patterns, a whole bunch of them and the dresses are really lovely. The last two. Now I gather what my grandma did was make items using these as inspiration because I've never seen any of these particular dresses. I don't recognize any of them specifically. However, she may have just taken inspiration from certain parts of the patterns. They are all pre-cut and everything inside. Some of them may not even be used, but they are definitely the real deal and vintage. They are falling apart, but the patterns inside are actually in really, really good nick. So if I'm brave enough, I might even try to do some vintage patterns. I have been thinking about getting into some sewing. Don't get too excited because I literally have zero sewing skills and experience apart from making like a pillowcase and a very bad top. They looked pretty on the outside, but on the inside was a freaking mess and it didn't last very long. So that will certainly be an adventure. <laughs> but yes, so that was the first thing I picked up. Then were all these beautiful handbags, which I believe most of these probably belonged to my grandmother's mum or her mother-in-law. So the first is this beautiful 1930s handbag it's really cute i'm going to come up as close as i can hopefully you can see the clasp has like little art deco details on it really really cute and inside has also got this art deco finishing i don't know if you can see there's like ridges all along here 
So that's what gives it away is 30s to me, but the inside is in such good condition. I am really shocked at how well this is held up and the black is really black. So I'm really excited about that. It doesn't go too badly with my current outfit. Um, <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled about it. It is beautiful. And as I always say, when it's a family heirloom piece, it means so much more. This next piece is absolutely stunning. It is, I think, again, a 1930s clutch. It even has this little like hand slip piece on the back and then check out the clasp. Look at that baby. That is a Bakelite 1930s clasp. How pretty is that? And then inside a matching green summer gloves. So they're really, really lightweight. They've got a little like love heart finish to them and then these little stitching details on them. So pretty. And the color is super, super vibrant. So they are lovely. Let's see if they fit me. I haven't actually tried them on yet. I had to de-spider them. In Australia, there was a spider living in that handbag. And spiders in Australia are pretty scary. Ah, they fit perfectly. I really like luck out all the time with my family stuff. Like, I mean, this is not from a grandma who is like blood related to me. So there's no guarantee that this is gonna fit. Whereas my other grandma is my actual grandma. Oh, is that a spider? <gasps> Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, how pretty are they? Mm, yes, with the matching bag. I think the bag was at some point darker it has faded i think it would have matched the gloves but like how long yes so i was very excited about that find so pretty the next piece is i believe a 1940s piece it is a cord bag it even has inside a label which says a genuine Corday product, which I will film and pop on the screen, unless you guys can see it's in there, but yes. This is the bag, so pretty with a corded handle to match. So yes, they're the handbags that came from my grandmother. Then the lucky last piece is this pair of 1950s hot pants that I ordered on eBay. I have a real thing for 1950 shorts. I just think they're gorgeous. They're super short, but for some reason I'm okay wearing like really, really short shorts. I don't really feel comfortable in skirts, but short shorts I do, provided they're high-waisted. So cute. I need to lose a little bit of weight. I can get these on, but you know, I've still got a bit of COVID body. I haven't really done any exercise. I've got the heebie-jeebies from the idea of spiders. Like my skin is all crawly. <laughs> It's fine, me. There are no spiders. Yeah, as I was saying, I still have a little bit of COVID weight on. Loving myself nonetheless, but there are some vintage pieces that I can't fit into at the moment. So check out that pattern. I will try these on in a cutaway for you guys, even though I feel a little bit embarrassed, <laughs> but I'll put them on for you. That is what I do for this channel. So guys, that was a pretty short and sweet one. Uh, it was only a few items, but hopefully you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I will get back to my usual content. I know the last few videos have been a bit all over the place with my trip to Australia. Uh, full disclosure, I got to Australia, or actually I found out just before I got there, that my dad had a heart scare. Um, he had atrial fibrillation and had been confirmed uh, of having heart failure at some point in the past. It didn't leave any lasting damage luckily and he went on to a whole bunch of medication and I helped him sort out a bunch of stuff in his life and in his house and everything to help him. Uh, but it, you know, it was stressful and scary and obviously I wanted to dedicate my time to helping my dad and spending time with my parents and everything else just kind of fell by the wayside because you know, when it comes to family and they're needing your help, nothing else 
really compares, does it? So, but I'm back in the UK now and I will be getting back on track. Uh, I will be doing the Hollywood icon suite and some hair and makeup videos for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And yes, the next installment of the Vintage Lingerie series is coming, which is the 1940s one. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below to let me know what you thought of the video and any suggestions for future videos. Come and check out my Patreon. It is linked down below. Here are some of the videos that I have made as exclusive content for my patrons. There is also the Curated Vintage Finds, which is links that I share weekly to vintage finds across the internet. So you guys don't have to do the searching yourself. I do it all for you. You can of course come and follow me on my Instagram if you want to. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.